In our life, our past is something that we cannot change. The present is something that we can control. But the future is where the quiche deck comes in. Learn to read your tarot cards. Get the quiche deck. Hi, Cancerians. Welcome to my channel, doing your reading. You guys know the drill, right? Can you watch the previous day? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna repeat this again. Oh, <laughs> the 10,000 likes, please. <laughs> okay, if you guys want to have your uh, a reading with no extended, you, you just hit the like. Hit the like before we start. That's it. Okay. And then hashtag get your love, hashtag Salvador in the comments. That's another thing to get a raffle in the um, in, with the free reading. Okay. What else? New me, new you, who you workshop. It can, it's available for streaming. Check it in the description box. I think that's it. Okay. We're good. All right. Let's. Uh, oh, I have a w wonderful one today. It's a different one. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you guys here. Let's see what's up. Need to consider it. <clears throat> Let's see. I feel like someone special or something special is about to come towards you. More of like a package. Maybe you just ordered something online. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just seeing it here, or it's already has arrived. Okay. Let's see. I remember when I used to play. Uh, <laughs> now it's Starcraft. I'm 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 a geek at some point. Um, the Terrans would sort of have. Um, I forgot. It has arrived. Starship something arrived. Something like that. I forgot. Maybe there is a person who comes in a plane. You're thinking and waiting for them to visit you. I feel like they're arriving pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Got a king of cups. Alright, so let's talk about this person. Let's talk about how you have fallen in love with this person so fast you didn't know what hit you. Because... They are quite a handsome gentleman. Mm -hmm. Lovely eyes, basically. Nose are prominent, lips that are kissable, and a jawline of the gods. Did I describe myself? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> I do disagree with the jawline of the gods. <laughs> a little bit upper than that. <laughs> That's Jish, the gods of the gods, right? Uh, king of the gods, basically. Zeus. Because <laughs> um, this is Scorpio, right? Uh -huh. So is this a person who's an elderly kind of person? Or is this a person who is very secretive at the same time? You like the mysterious type, okay? There's two things that the concerns like. The mysterious type, the reckless type, the type that is bad. <laughs> it is true. You know what I'm talking about, concerns. The one who is in a committed relationship, you like that. The one that you can have, basically, is what you like. We know that. Mm -hmm. Now, this person, on contrary, is not. This is a person that loving, I feel. King of Cups is someone who's positive, someone who's loving, caring, nurturing, everything that a lady would love, or a bro would love, whatever you want, okay? Oyster or eggplant, clams or carrots, we don't know, okay? It's up to your preference. I'm talking about the energy here. Okay. Let me see. Oof. I didn't want to go there, but actually they were... Because I don't like when they're giving me naughty messages. So the person has magical fingers. Let's keep it that way. Let's just say the person can play the flute. <laughs> can strum the guitars. <laughs> okay. Because look at that, the lovers, as I was going to say. Because they do have prominent fingers right there. Okay. So if it's a song, strumming my pain with his finger. <laughs> Singing my life with his... <laughs> Killing me softly, so, for real. Killing me softly with his... Mm. So you met, right? Very fast. Lovers is normally like an instant kind of connection because of... You know the past like you guys could have had a past life connection we know that already you know I always say that you know the clear indication of how the characteristic of a person your spouse would be is the lowest degree it's called the dark arca atma is the highest dark arca is the lowest okay sorry I don't want to dis um, get distracted so you feel that so drawn I mean hello 
you know, like this is the Adonis and the what the eve of, you know, of connection, like the passion, you know. The passion between the two of you is just like amazing, and that's something that holds very very special to you. Mm -hmm. It's the love of your life. Mm -hmm. You are the love of my life, right? So where are they? Because someone here wants to have a chance. Um, someone was asking you do, if they have a chance on you. Is it a reconciliation? Is it like they just need to travel and see you and you know it's it seals the deal? The full card shows someone here needs to let go of a lot of things in order for them to be with you. It can be their work, it can be their living situation, it can be geographical distance. A lot of sacrifices has to be made, um, especially that the full card is here. And that's a 50-50 because it's like, let's just say they were to move, then, you know, chances are it would be on their end while I'm doing a sacrifice. You understand me? There's a sacrifice that is going to be done with the full card. It's not a lamb. We're not, sac you know, we're not going to sacrifice no lamb. Let me see here. Wow! Look at that. I feel like the two of you love each other. I always good get readings from the Cancerian. I don't know why, for some reason, that's a statement. That's consistent. Okay. And I don't know who resonates with it, but congratulations. You met the love of your life right there. Mm -hmm. You guys know each other that, you know, this connection will go beyond years, you know. That's you, Cancerian. That's a Queen of Cups. Your intuition has already told you about this person. Um... You guys know that, um, but I feel like uh, you're the one who's going to sacrifice everything so that you can be with them. Just saying. This is the love of your life, then you have to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You're the one who needs to make it work. Because it's your end. I told you, you want a second chance for this person. King of Swords, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords. Things between the two of you became sour because before they were warm, they were, they were, you know, everything that you could have ever asked for. Soft spoken, very charming, sweet, ask you everything. How's your day? Is everything going good? Um, you know, the one that always concerned about you. But things has changed. Mm -hmm. Now you're upset. Now you're sad on the situation. You kind of feel like, what happened? What happened to the first person that I met? I don't sense third party. I sense someone went cold. Mm -hmm. So it's not only an addiction that we go cold turkey. Sometimes our soulmate goes cold turkey. <laughs> so you want to talk to them again. You want to talk to this person. You get the Ace of Swords. You want to talk. We want to ask them, did I do anything wrong? Because why you're being distant right now? Oh, it's hurt. Oh. Why are you being distant? Why all of a sudden you don't text anymore? Because this person now from the like, totally flip of a switch. It's just like, did I, do I even know the person that I dated? Mm -hmm. So you're going to have a lot of questions. Or, plus the fact that is there someone else? The five of cups, because you're looking at the three of cups. If they're not messaging you and talking to you, is it someone else that they're connecting already that has replaced you in their life? So you kind of want to know, kind of want to know, is that even it? <laughs> you, you want to know, you want to have a better understanding of your situation with them. Where do you stand? Where do you stand as far as commitment? See? Are they still committed to you? Do, you? do they still see a future with you? Like, since they already have change, you know, do they still want this with you? Yeah, that's where the crossroads starts. Do you still want to be with me? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Seven of Cups. Are they seeing someone else? Are they pursuing something else? 
what is causing this whole coldness? You're trying to understand them, you're trying to observe them, you're trying to stop them, you're trying to figure them out, but instead of figure, you know, instead of figuring things out, you find yourself even more confused. So this is for the concern who just wants to clarify basically are we going to be official? Do you still have feelings for me? What happened to my soulmate, basically? What happened to the person? The first person that you really met. What happened? Why did they change? And do they still want a commitment with you? Alrighty, Concerns? Link down there in the description box for the extended. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you guys again. Bye. Concerns, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 20. 2 to the 31st. This is your weekly, the last one for January. Um, before we start, this is going to be different. Uh, it's a different spread. So we have two situations here winning the marrying spread. You and the other person, kind of similar, but we use two tarot decks and a cartomancy. We'll see only one side here, and then in extended read, we'll see how the other person replies. It's only slow in the beginning, but once we roll, we got to go. Okay? Here we go for my Concerians. Let's begin. Let's see. Started? Yeah, we did. Oh, three cards though. Too much. Oh, there we go. King of Cups. Scorpio, of course. Love. Mm, intense. Yes. Uh, I see here this person. Um, this person likes to have fun. They're all about... Um, King of Wands... Uh, is an energy where fun but you know let's do it now and out of nowhere let's go crazy the king of cups is the one where do you want to cook at home do you want to do this something creative king of cups they would plan out this whole romantic date with you vice versa if you're cross watcher this is very very romantic okay so romance is in the air let's see other person the full card, traveling, visiting here with the King of Cups. So it could be someone is seeing you, Concern, or you're seeing someone from a distance. With the full card, it's also an energy where two people is willing to take a risk. Um, you know, give go with the flow. Let's see where this is going. Since, you know, this love is already felt, okay? This is, uh, can be also you're in a new connection with someone or the same person, but new energy between the two of you, okay? Other the King of Cups. Four of Swords. Wow, really a vacation here. Because the Four of Swords is R&R, &R, rest and relaxation for me. This is my do not disturb sign in the hotel. King of Cups and the Four of Swords. I feel, let me see. I feel that this person or you have this understanding of what you guys are and it makes your mind at ease. This can be your the other person. Someone's mind is already like, okay, oh, this is good, it's good, you know. Underneath the full card. Two of Pentacles. 50-50. Other person knows about it. You know about it. Both of you are just winging this. With the Four of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. You guys are just winging the situation right now between the two of you. See it, see how far it goes, that kind of energy. Underneath the Four of Swords. Got a higher fun. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my God. Wait. <laughs> is the higher fun here is a relationship? See where it goes. It goes to a relationship. I have Scorpio Taurus. That's one seven partnership meaning. Let me see here. Under the two of Pentacles. Oh, strength card. Enduring the test of time. Being more compassionate. This is also all the struggles in the connection will be managed regardless of. Because two of Pentacles is like iffy. Like your. You didn't really know where is it going and then all of a sudden it's here. This is how it is. You didn't expect it, but someone will commit. You didn't expect it, but someone is standing by you. Let me see here. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. This is Faith. Jupiter is in Scorpio. This energy is... Okay. This can be um, a Piscean also. Vedic idea when I mention, of course. This is feeling... Uh, how do I say this? Um, not just feeling lucky, but feeling that... 
when there were difficult things between the two of you, it outweighs. So regardless how difficult the connection is, the good outweighs the bad. There. Knight of Cups. You're gonna extend yourself to this person. This so person has appeared to be has a very prominent nose. I'm not sure what that means. Knight of Swords here. You will talk about this person. It's like how about how about we see each other? So Wheel of Fortune is that also travel. You will also talk about commitment with this person. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a page of swords with a higher front. You're the one or they're the one, whoever on this side is, is gonna talk about it. Let me see what the cartomancy is saying. Got the Knight of Spades. Well, that was a challenge right there. Before, for you guys to reach this point, you guys went through a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Got a Queen of Hearts, but you, you believe in your intuition over here. No matter what challenges that you guys have, you trusted yourself. Like, yes, this is a person that I should trust i should uh, wing i should give a chance with a full card oh and a six of hearts reconciliation can be it's not as equivalent as a six of cups but it can be because of the hierophant here that's the only reason why i said that but with queen of hearts and a six of cups love is growing and growing and growing okay this is uh the energy between the two of you it's developing so someone is developing feelings here or you are whoever's in this side okay so I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with these energies. We'll see how this other person will respond as this person has already fallen in love. They want a commitment. Their mind is clear. They're determined and they feel lucky. Okay? So thank you very much, Concern, for watching. This is your 23 to the 31st. Link down there in the description box for everything that you need. Bye, guys. No way! She already has a show. This is my show. Feeling Sisters with Sal, January 26. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that notification bell because it's gonna be amazing. I'll see you there. Bye.